Hey guys, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Head to Head. My name is Green, and with me, as always, is my co-host and bitter rival Zen from his channel, Zen and Cyrene. How you doing, Zen? I'm feeling pretty, um, normal. Pretty average, actually. <laughs> That's one of my favorite silly memes. Anyway, today we're going to be doing an actual, just normal Isaac run with... I guess we'll play as Isaac. Or do you yeah. want a random characters just to make oh, it a little yeah. bit more let's crazy? Oh, yeah. Let's do that. We haven't played a character other than Isaac for quite a while now, right? Yeah, I, I haven't either. <laughs> yep. or, uh, anyway, uh, are you ready, Zen? Yes, I am. All right, three, two, one, go. Kane! Okay, well, I'm okay blue with this. Blue Baby. <laughs> oh, well, that could be good, too. Yeah, I don't mind Blue Baby so much, but I'm a little bit rusty on actual, like, vanilla Binding of Isaac. I'm so used to adjusting to weird challenges. Yeah. It's going to be a weird adjust adjustment to not adjust to a weird challenge. Yeah, that's, that's kind of ironic, <laughs> but it is true. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird starting out weak and getting stronger. Oh god damn it. I just took two hits from one of those like super muscular awesome flies. Super muscular awesome flies. Oh the, the ones with two shots. <laughs> he was like hiding in rocks, so I had to get really close to him, and then like standing still didn't properly dodge his shots. I should definitely be pooping. Yep, you should be pooping. About that. Gotta clear out that colon. By the way, folks, <laughs> I was looking for the top secret room there, in case you were wondering what I was looking for. I know where the secret room is. Ah, vampire bat. This is a pretty large basement one, all things considered. See? Let's go fight the boss. I have a pretty small one this time around. Ah, eh, kind of an average size <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, well, that was supposed to be between our screen. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, but it's probably because I'm fighting. <sighs> What's the name of this fella? What is the name of this? Larry Jr., yes. Got one small one and one big one. Alright. Come on, Larry Jr. <laughs> one yeah, small one and one big one. That's my yeah. kind of evening. <laughs> oh my god, how did that hit me? Jesus Christ. I, I'm remembering now. The thing with Blue Baby is health is oh, really scarce. What did I oh, oh, okay, I got stopped in my tracks by half a poop. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have to obsessively shoot fires and poop in the hopes of getting spirit hearts. I'm already down to one and a half. Uh oh. Come on, Larry Jr. Okay, Larry Jr. I don't, I don't want to get stuck in a half poop again. Come on. I was trying to remember the the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles jingle, and to my greatest shame, I don't really. It's Heroes play. in a Half Shell. Heroes in a Half Shell, yeah, Heroes in a Half Poop. Yep, Heroes in oh, a wait, Half Wait, is that what you just said? Poop? No, it's Heroes in a Half Shell. No, no, but you just said something, half something. Yeah. I was trying to make a Ninja Turtles joke. Yeah, I said Half Poop. Because I got stuck on a Half Poop, and then um, Larry Jr. ate me. I just used both of my bombs because there were two potential secret room locations. The secret room was in neither of them. Mm -hmm. This uh, this run's going really well so far. Let's put it that way. At least I have Sister Maggie. That's actually a huge DPS boost early in the game when you don't have any damage ups. Yep, that's true. Get over here, grab the key, and look in this curse room for... Throw bombs and the location of the secret room. I'm okay with that. Man, I was hoping that would give me enough money to go to the shop, but I got 100% pennies out of my uh, uh, tiara. Uh, I, oh my well, I am Kane. Let's go ahead and okay. toss two cents into this. Um, ooh, the sun card. Okay. And the soul hut. Yep, I am Kane. Always gamble with Kane. <laughs> yeah, okay. It, Luckfoot is so good for uh, for that. Mm-hmm. Hmm, I might have to check out that arcade to see if I can find a um, solar machine going on in there. Because I'm not doing well on health. Probably should pop more poops, actually. Because I think... Alright. <laughs> this is, this Sorry, is... I've... What's up? I've got Ghost Baby and Sister Maggie now. Oh, okay. Got uh, Rainbow Baby as well, yeah. I think you it's sold all die alone. A poop drops dependent on luck, by the way. I mean, not in real poop life. Poop drops? Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean when when I pop open a poop, like well, luck the lucks that 
affect whether something will come out of it, like a coin. Uh, that's actually a great question. I have no idea. Poop drops are affected by luck in real life too. I remember the time I was like, what, 12 years old and a pigeon pooped on me. <laughs> on my head. <laughs> it was your luck stat. You failed a luck roll there, <laughs> I is what you're saying? I failed a luck roll, yeah. I quit failed it. So I was waiting for the school bus, so I had to go to school with poop on my head. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? I almost walked away from the Polaroid as Blue Baby. Oh, boy. Yeah. Jesus Christ. What yeah. was I thinking? I was like, oh, I'll get this from Mom anyway. I've got this fish head. It's much better. No. <laughs> Polaroid is real good. Oh, <laughs> man. I am so happy that you, you saw that. Not because it will help me on my way, but because you aren't going to get yelled at if you left that behind. Yeah, oh, God. People would be so mad. <laughs> I was thinking too much about being pooped on the head by a, <laughs> by a seagull. Or, sorry, a pigeon. Yeah, well, I don't really. To be honest with you, I don't really know what bird it was anymore that poop on my head. Right, right. Ooh, dying. Just a, just a bird. Yeah, just asshole bird. Oh god. Hmm. Walked into the poop. I will take brimstone for the piercingness, although that would knock me down to one red heart. Hmm. Oh, I that think was I lucky? will take it. Hmm. And oh, it of course I'll take the unicorn horn. I was like, hmm, do I want the poop or the unicorn horn? Take the unicorn horn. And I guess pop it immediately on this boss. Ah, uh, no, it's pin. I will not pop anything on pin. Okay, where is the shop? I might as well go to the shop because I have 22 cents on basement 2. So I'm taking it a little bit slow, but I need to pass my advantages here. Let's see. Let's try that guy. Destroy that guy. Oh, by the way, I don't think I ever told you this. I thought of a great or uh, awful idea for a game the other day. Are you ready for me oh, to yeah. pitch it? Yes. Yeah, so I can't wait. think of it kind of like, so it's like some kind of simulator, like, you know, pizza making simulator or wood cutting simulator 2014 or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And it's marketed as such. All the, the material on the box is like wood cutting simulator 2014. Right, and you play it, and it starts off as whatever simulator, 2020, laundry simulator, I don't care. And slowly, things start to go bad. And halfway <laughs> through, it becomes like a Cthulhu nightmare. But your interface... So it's like... Yeah? It's like, um... Inversion? Eversion? Did, have you heard of that game? Yeah, that's what the people on Twitter told me. Yeah, it's yeah, kind of it's, like that. It, it's like that, but with simulator instead of a platformer. I like it a lot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but the fun of it, well, I don't know if it's fun, the the idea is that <laughs> you still keep your your UI and your tools as the as a simulator, so you've got to kill, you've got to escape from the nightmare or kill the minions of Yogg-Sothoth or whatever while using, you know, chainsaws or woodcutters or... or yeah, or, or like, maybe it could be the, um... Oh man, the... the what was that? Like the warehouse management simulator. <laughs> yes, exactly. You just use your forklift. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's what Move them saying. around. Yep. You fight the, the otherworldly abominations using your forklift. Or, mm. or by managing your cargo wisely. Yeah, and you still get like missions in the same way. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> your distributor wants you to take out these hellish minions in the warehouse. <laughs> you just operate the forklift. <laughs> and you know properly manage your uh your workers to take out the threat exactly i mean i would i would be so happy i would be even happier to see all the reviews on amazon.com for those people who are sincerely <laughs> like simulator fans starts out very realistic <laughs> yes. then horrible monsters come <laughs> yes. not like actual warehouse management <laughs> yes. four out of five <laughs> yes <laughs> If you're a game developer, make this game. Seriously, I would play it. Yeah, I would like that a lot. Make it so that as you... It's not a sudden change. It's like things slowly go askew <laughs> through your play. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Make it like so that for a good hour and a half of gameplay, you just see things out of the corner of your eye <laughs> yes, just barely, yes. and you, you, but like they disappear and there's no sign of them, and you're just like, what is, what is going on here? Yes. Oh, no. oh okay. Yep, exactly. Do it like that. I would like to play that game. I really want more stuff like that in uh, in video games where, like, you know, the like more horror games where it's 
not clear that you're playing a horror game and right. like you can't really tell like it distracts you with a normal game and then suddenly it's like holy shit right this is happening <laughs> and you, you know you just you think you yourself as the player are going crazy i love that kind of thing but it's so hard to pull that off because then like you know people will just tell you you know it, it's so susceptible to spoilers yeah oh by the way frog factions 2 is going to be a thing oh nice yeah, it's coming. Actually, I don't know how excited about that I am. <laughs> I know. Because, I... because like, I don't know. I feel like it threw everything it had at us in Frog Fractions 1. Yeah. For those of you who don't know what Frog Fractions, Fractions is, I'm not going to say anything about it. Just go play it. Google Frog yeah, Fractions. Go play the game. It's a it's a game about fractions. Mm -hmm. And numbers. Yep, it's free. So it's a yep. free Bowser game, so there's no excuse not to. Yep. You're a frog on a lily pad. You eat bugs. It's a good time. Mm-hmm. And then after that, watch Cam play it. <laughs> oh man, Cam's video of that game is so good. It really is. God, that was a fun time. Okay, let's destroy Gertie here. I'm taking way too much damage for this level, it kind of sucks. How are you doing race-wise, by the way? Uh, I'm being pretty slow, I'm at the case 1. So okay, I'm just finishing up Catacombs 1. Alright. I'm on the boss. So you're on Catacombs 1 boss as well? Yes, I am. Wow, okay, so we are oh, tied. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I really want the virus right now, that would be awesome. I really want not to die right now because I'm being stupid. Alright. Whew, I did not die. Thank god for that. Alright. See what these pills are. I should have definitely used the unicorn horn. I always ah. get something like the unicorn horn and then I just don't use it. I am having the luckiest run in a long time. A long, long time. Really? What have you got? I found three dimes today. To wow! Begin with. <laughs> yeah, yeah! It's madness. I know, I have the sun card. I just picked up two balls of steel uh, pills. Let's see, let's go... Am I all set here? Man, I wish I had some balls of steel pills. Yeah. <laughs> I've been consistently at between two and four health for a long time can't really seem to build up these spirit hearts and that's gonna be a problem once I get to the later floors and things get harder yeah. ah but here's another trinket machine oh. more chances let's go ahead and oh I have I also have um the crystal ball by the way oh nice <laughs> I really hope I get that right now and the battery. oh cancer I want cancer so much, but the Polaroid is just so good. Okay, here is, uh, what's the name of this bastard? Dick Judgment, yes. And... Ah, uh, yes, of course, old Dick Judgment. <laughs> yes, I haven't called him Dick Judgment in a, in a very long time, no. <laughs> no, that's a classic joke. Mm-hmm. Damn it! I just pumped ten sol uh, ten coins into this machine and did not get a uh, a spirit art. Uh oh. What's better, the devil or the empress? I think the empress. Should definitely use one of those this floor, though. I have no bombs to play oh, God, to do it. deck judgment with, so I guess I'll go look for some bombs. Gamble for some bombs anyway, because I'm going to need them anyway. Oh, I could maybe find them in the course of my journey. Let's do that instead. It's more time efficient. Top secret room, but I don't have bombs. Golden poop. Oh god, I'm being surrounded by flies. Playing like an amateur. So hang on, if you have Celtic Cross, does that do anything with the Polaroid at all? I don't remember at all, honestly. Yeah, it, I maybe it keeps you invincible for longer when it procs? Mm. Not sure. Well, I have it now. And Gluttony dropped a less than three, which is exactly one spirit heart. Good stuff. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh well. I was <clears throat> kind of hoping for a soul heart there rather than a card, but I will take the card. It's the Joker! Okay, well, off to the Joker. The Shovel and Book of Sin. Mm. Bye. Okay, now let's look down here for... Well, 
Oh my god, come on. Okay, so I just used my unicorn horn for the first time because I walked into a room with a bunch of gishes that I didn't want to deal with. Mm -hmm. And picked up a telepills and teleported straight to the boss who is champion peep. Oh god. And that means that I also don't have my motherfucking devil card that I was going to use on the boss because I got telepills. Right. Ah, uh, I'm going to lose so much health here. This is the least lucky thing that could have possibly happened to me. I'm pretty sure this is the worst boss I could be fighting right now. By the way, just as uh, kind of like a contrast to that, I found my second golden proof of this fall. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, this wasn't so bad. Looks like I might get out of here with only losing one spirit heart. Okay, pentagram yeah, in the boss right. room, in the boss room. Definitely need damage. Ah, uh, okay, I'll take scapular. I was really hoping... I would get something like a relic in the angel room. But that would be happen. fantastic. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that. It went off screen. Okay, I finally Cheating got the bombs. bomb I was looking for. So let's go into the secret room. Or should I go to judgment? Let's go to the secret room. Judgment could have given me bombs, actually, come to think of it. And I already have plenty of coins, so that's not. That is not optimal. Take care of the greed heads. Why are you not dead yet, greed head? Why? There we go. And You're just dead even on that curse room. Where are you no now? One... Are you still on Catacombs 2? Yeah, I'm about to leave. Okay, I think I'll instead of gambling I'll just move on myself. Ah, two bombs, thank you, game. Yeah, I'll just take my bombs and leave. We'll go to another seek. We have another chance at the top secret room for sure later on. I should have played that machine one more time. I didn't realize I had another penny, but oh well. Off we go. Curse of Darkness, excellent. All right. Oh, good. It's greed. Range up. Don't need that. Have already been in this type of room. Just wanted to show you guys that. And we're going to go down to the next floor. Oops. Damn it. Necropolis, huh? I found the secret room. What's in the secret room? More coins. I have 69. Co well, not anymore, I don't. Uh, 73 coins. Come on, man. Uh -oh. Come on. No! <laughs> just, just get the key. There you go. That's stupid. I should fight Green. God, I almost had him dead, and then I accidentally just walked out. Ugh. And then, of course, I took damage. Boss room is, item room is back this way, so let's go for that. God, you know, the exact opposite of you, I don't think I've gotten a single non-penny this run. Like, no <laughs> no nickels, no dimes. I got, I've killed Greed, and I've also gotten the Pageant Boy. Uh -huh. All pennies. Huh. Oh, man. Alright. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's Damn it. Cannot afford these losses. Okay, we are at the shop now, and uh, golden poop number three. This is crazy. What's going on today? Right, let's open up this golden poop. Have a look at what's in the item room. The item room is magneto. Then I don't really think I need it. Oh. I'm just scared of throw bombs getting close Ooh. to me. A sad onion. And we have a uh, discounted bomb friend, which I will buy because I have 82 cents. Why the hell not? Hmm. So that he can eat the rest of the money he finds. Okay. Now. Oh. Ooh, the... seven cent compass. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't. All right. We're going to keep moving. Things are turning around for old green. I've also I've unlocked the possibility of angel rooms this run, so hopefully I can get another one of those soon and get something great out of it. Oh, jeez! Chop people got me on the backswing. All right, a little bit more. Looking here for a chest, I don't want to bother with that. 
going to go fight the boss. The boss is Peep. All right. I oh, what am I doing? I guess I'll blow up Judgment because I don't have any money. One and that thing. will give me a higher chance of an angel room. Yeah, that's a good idea. I haven't done that particular strategy in a long time, actually. Yeah, me neither. I accidentally used a bomb to get to Judgment with no money, and I was like, well, fuck, why did I do that? And I was like, oh yeah, I'll blow him up. So two bombs for that, so hopefully it pays off. Oh god. Oh god. Damn it, Peep. Yeah, good job. You're nailing me. No, this is not Peep. This is Bloat. I'm mixing Bloat and Peep. Oh no, goodness me. But oh I got you. God. By the way, I don't know... I, I've been playing a lot of Our Darker Purpose lately, as you know. Right? Mm -hmm. This feels easier to me, still. Like, Our Darker Purpose is a hard game. Really? Yeah, it is very hard, for sure. Oh man. So it feels good to be back on... Um, on Isaac, to a certain degree. Even though I'm still mm -hmm. not very good at it. I need to play some more Our Darker Purpose. I've been kind of obsessed lately with uh, Warlock, Master of the Arcane. Right. It's a fun game. I'm going to buy the compass because I have the money for it. And... Let's see. Do I even want to go to the item room? You know what? We're going to rush now. Man, I cannot afford to rush at all. I'd need to uh, get this item. Come on, blue spikes! There's just nothing you can do sometimes. The blue spikes just will hit you no matter how fast you walk by them. We're going to... Okay, Judgment, feed me all the things. Not Judgment, Bumpin. I gave him lots of money to eat. Ah, right. Very aggressive folks here. God. Ah, it's fucking top secret room full of red arts. Why do you taunt me, game? Oh, boy. Oh, no. In a mask room and I don't have my fucking... Uh, my uh, unicorn oh. horn charged. This is not good. No? Oh, damn it, that was almost the sickest dodge. No, oh, just walk into the enemy, why don't you? Alright. All the things happening oh. at once. Alright, hope this is worth it. Oh, it totally was! I got mutant spider! Nice! That's pretty good. I'm gonna pop all these poops. I'm getting very low on health again. So now I'm very powerful, but you know, oh, my three God, what hearts doing? on Necropolis too is not the best. No, it's not. All right. I could go up to that boss room. I think I'd better. Ooh. Don't hurt me. Okay, so avoid all these things. Hmm. There's no way I'll be able to do the to even if I could get down to a half heart because I vampire bed. I would not be able to do the Polaroid shoot thing. Or the, the no red heart Polaroid shoot thing. Ah, uh, yeah, you'd have to get rid of all of your heart containers. Yeah. I'm going to gamble here for a bit, I think. See what happens when I do it. The Polaroid was such an interesting change, because it really did turn Blue Baby into like a late game character. Because mm -hmm. once you get that Polaroid, then suddenly he just becomes like really good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this... This... Um, fortune teller machine has given me all the um, trinkets when I'm looking for hearts. There we go. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, oh, that happened to be there. earlier. I put 10 coins into it, got like 5 trinkets and no hearts. Which trinket do I want now? Oh. Oh. The Joker. Oh, oh good. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I have the Joker. That's that's fantastic, actually. Let's go visit the Joker right now. Hmm. Money equals power. <laughs> Dare I ask how much money you have? 89. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, so thank you guys for watching another episode of The Binding of Isaac Head to Head. I'll see you guys next week. Zen wins this one. Oh no! This is fucking. Oh god. The unicorn doesn't affect hearts. I think I'll just pop into the item room. Uh, <sighs> that is so annoying. Do I want to? Decisions. You know what? Let's pass Get away on. From you fucking asshole. Chances of me getting a great item out of that's not super high anyway. But oh, my first dime. There we go. Uh, let's see. Maggie's faith. You know what? I want the safety cap because I know I have a uh, uh, in the rotation. I have what you might call it the the whatever 
<sighs> what is it called? Balls of steel, yes! My brain! <laughs> uh, yes, I will take Nun's Habit. Thank you very much, game. Ah, save and, and yes, I will also take a discounted Spirit Heart. So polite of you. Alright, so now... Now I have Unicorn Horn Nun's Habit, which is not the greatest combination, but it's a good one. It's something. Because now I can, like, spam Unicorn Horn. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't do that to me, dude. There's so much stuff going on here. Got Red Mom, who's nice and easy. Right. I'm doing okay here. You and I are head to head. Because I'm fighting Mom as well. Uh, I am not going to take that that meat. We're going to go down to the next floor. I take the ones then. Take the meat. Take the Polaroid. That's right. What am I thinking? I nearly made the same mistake you nearly made. Ah uh, yeah, got squeezy. All right. What is this card? Justice, huh? All right, justice. 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 It's a womb XL. Uh, all right. Let's head toward the boss, I guess. Where's Rachel? So it seems like we're both doing pretty okay here. I've got like quad shot. I just got a bunch of health. Mm -hmm. Nuns have it. Unicorn horn. We've both got the compass. Things are close here. Yep. Alright. Oh, god damn it. The hangman, that's not too useful. I should take one. I should try to max up my coins here instead of letting Bum Fan eat them all. Okay. Oh, so yeah. Take the coin. I'm gonna start using the unicorn horn on cooldown in case anybody's wondering about that decision. Because, uh, you know, if I go into oh, a tough room. Then I'll just get hit a couple times and then I can use it anyway. It's the worst dodge of all time. Please give me an angel room, Teratoma. Please. Oh, you're a Teratoma already. That's quite Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I do have the compass, so... Right, right. Pretty easy. Don't appear next to me, Fetus. That's really creepy. Oh, come on, spider. This is gonna land on top of me, just spawned inside me, basically. Ah, oh, well. I got Cat of Nine Tails and no Angel Room. No. So, onward I go. Without even taking Cat of Nine Tails. Because I will not fight the Mask of Infamy this run. And it's just a wasted passive that will make it less likely for me to get passives in the future. From like, I guess what I'm mostly thinking of is the chests in the chest. Speaking of which, I'm down to two keys. I really hope I get two more before I reach the chest. That would suck a lot if I didn't. Two hearts, pills? useless to me. I don't know what this pill is. It's tally pills. Oh, oh, good game. Thanks. Wow. Oh I no, really... are you now on the wrong end of the <laughs> womb? Yes. That's the womb XL actually. Oh. That is the worst. Oh, oh no. Okay. Well, we just got to make our way back. Oh, trill tally pills. God damn it. Alright. Well, it could be the wrong end of the chest, so that's that. I guess they might as well blow up some rocks and get this bomb, just in case they're tinted. They're not. But they could have been. Oh, why am I dodging so badly today? You know, I was going to say earlier that that my jo my dodging skills have improved since I played Out Dark with Purpose, but that truly isn't the case here. Oh. oh. There we go. All right, here we go, Mom's heart. I have a charge of unicorn horn. Should I need it? I'm not sure when to use it. Probably on the zombie wave, I guess. Right, off we go. Where is my sun card? Do I? I mean, yeah, the sun card is useful. Although I have the compass and no red hearts. Yeah, it's not that great anymore. I'll still pick it up. That is a two of hearts, I will not do anything with that. And we're going to go fight the boss. Which is Whoa. Mom's heart, of course. Alright. Guess I don't really need the unicorn here either. Just wait until it feels like I'm gonna get hit, I guess. That's that's a good use of it. 
Yeah. <clears throat> That's how I usually use it. Like, I walk into a room or get into a situation where I'm like, well, mm. fucking cornered. Use the unicorn horn. Oh my god, that was dumb. Yeah, so, folks, if you're wondering what happened there, I thought I was fighting Monstro 2 for a moment. So, <laughs> so I didn't dodge oh. out of the way. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's silly. He does resemble his brother a lot. Yeah, that's true. Monstro 1. Also, what kind of parents name their kids, like, you know, 1 and 2? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is Charlie 1, this is Charlie 2. Well... The new and improved Charlie. Okay, so I'm gonna say something here, and folks, hear me out before I, I before you start yelling at me. Chinese people do, to a certain degree? It depends on who you, is it really? you ask. Yeah, if like... Huh. You know, if it's like, I guess, I think, I don't know, I'm a bad Chinese. But you know, it's like, <laughs> Eling, Erling, pff, I, I don't know. Okay, never mind, forget I said anything. I'm trying to think of examples here. For those of you who are Chinese, feel free to pick up on my incompetence here and tell me if that's true or not. Alright. I have no idea at all. <laughs> like, not even the slightest clue what you're talking about. Uh oh. So I'm on the cathedral now. So I'm on. Oh man, there's a locked chest, but I don't want to waste one of my two keys on it. I want to have enough for the the chest, chest, chest. Mm -hmm. All right. But I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to beat Isaac. Probably can. Ooh. I bet I can. With the Polaroid. Yeah, I ought to be able to. Alright, for those of you who had no idea earlier what I was talking about when I said our darker purpose, it's kind of like an Isaac-like mm. game, uh, sat in, sat in a school, me. with a very Tim Burton-esque art style. So that's that. Okay, let's go fight Isaac. Just dodged into the fucking chest I didn't want to open. So, got that now. <laughs> One key going into the chest, assuming I get there. That really sucks. I really want Poison Touch at this point, but I don't have it, of course. Yeah, I would love Poison Touch as well. God, that would go so well with my build between the Unicorn Horn and the Polaroid. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I would, if I had Poison Touch, I would just tear apart Isaac and Blue Baby. There would be yeah. no question about it. Oh man. War, what are you good for? Absolutely nothing. Oh. Stop dropping bombs everywhere, you fucking asshole. No, not the troll bombs! Who was the person who sang that song, by the way? I have no clue. Oh, I have no more bombs, okay. I'm so bad with pop culture references. Yeah. So am I. Okay, Isaac is dead. Now I just need to survive the chest, which isn't the easiest thing in the world, even with this build that I have going here. Two of diamonds, sure, why not? Let's just max, max out my coins. And then <sighs> we're off to the chest. Got a bad trip, Phil. Okay, X-ray glasses, I could have used that earlier. Kind of want to check out this mob trap room. Oh, good, good gamble. That's just uh, shooting fires in here. Harlequin, baby. And Book of Anarchy. Huh. Meh. Nah. Ah, maybe I should do this whole fucking mob trap room just in the hopes of getting a key out of this great chest. Wait, we'll, we'll see how the Isaac fight goes, and if I'm doing well health-wise after that, then I'll go do it. Oh, so... Two super losses right. is a really, really insanely bad draw for me. There we go, oh, damn it. I bad. tried to use it before I got hit, but I used it after I got hit. Damn. Okay, alright. Looks like I do have to take the long way around to get to... Um, yeah, Isaac's gonna kick my ass. Damn it. Alright. Got hit by stuff. Nonsense. Dope. Uh, I might be able to survive here, actually. Okay. The first phase, I feel like, is by far the hardest phase of Isaac. Just the tears everywhere. There's really nothing you can do. <sighs> God damn, I hate this room. Oh my god, I hate this room so much. And I have no bombs. Alright. Oh my god, I, I am surprised ah. I didn't get damaged there. <laughs> I thought I died, but I had the scapular. Oh, okay. Oh man. Okay. One more hit, though. Get away from me, homing tier. Oh, get away from me, Phoenix! She teleported right on top of me, but I just somehow didn't get hit. 
Isaac died. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay. Well, this is for that was some clutch shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is for all the beans now. I'm not doing yeah. extremely well at the moment. I did all right, pick my up- my one key got me a little gish. All right. It's all right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I need health so badly. So I have scapular again. Oh my god, I hate all of you. Loki, not the viewers. I'm fighting triple Loki, which <laughs> is a pain in the butt. I'm also fighting triple Loki. Yeah. So you're on the chest as well, then? I am, in fact. Oh, man, I didn't know you were on the Isaac fight. I'm sorry. I must have not been paying attention to what you were saying at all. Two chops. Two chops should be easy. Alright. Got rid of one ah. chop. Kill the other chop. And we're going to keep going through the chest here. Oh, my God. Sloth, how dare you? Okay, now we only have to worry about Gluttony. Gluttony. Man, how much fucking health do things have off of the health bar? It gets ridiculous sometimes. <laughs> I know. Oh no, Triple Widow! This is so the end. Oh, the clutch dodges! Holy shit! Oh my god. I'm fighting Double Ratchet. Thank I you. panic. I panic. <laughs> it's almost as bad as a Triple Widow. Hey. Okay. Alright, got this so hard. God, Scapular is saving so my ass so hard right now. <gasps> Alright, blue baby. No! You win. Oh no! Alright, but I'm, I'm not hard. doing well at all against blue baby, unfortunately, because I don't even know why. That's alright, you uh, you got to the boss of the chest and I didn't, so... I think by any reasonable measure you are ahead of me. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Just took that blow to the face. <laughs> I'll give you a blow to the face. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't know how that would work, now that I think about it. Mm. Oh, okay, there we go. Webcams. Um, I'm dead too. <laughs> so, unfortunately, Blue Baby did do me in this time around. But I guess we're All done. Alright, well, yeah, we both made it to the chest. That was uh, better than I expected. Yeah. That to go. Yeah. Especially and when I random blue baby when I'm this rusty at Isaac. <laughs> yeah, and I think this might be my luckiest run of all time. I really do think really? so. Really? Like, yeah, three dimes, three golden poops, um, and all kinds of other things from from the very from just the very get go. That is pretty crazy. I know. But anyway, thank you guys for watching another episode of The Binding of Isaac Head to Head. Uh, make sure to check out our Green vs. Zen on Tower of Guns this week. That's a first-person roguelike, kind of a little bit like Paranautical Activity in that they're the same genre, but they're pretty different. Mm -hmm. And if you like Isaac, it, there's a good chance that you'll be interested as well in Tower of Guns. So I recommend checking that out. And also, you know, it was just a fun little competition. We chatted about the game and got our ass kicked by a tower full of guns. <laughs> it was a good time. Go check it out. Yes, it was. And of course, you are on Green's channel right now, but do subscribe, do watch his other um, series as well. You might be especially interested in Warlock, Master of the Arcane, Armageddon mode. And especially if you are a strategy fan, do check that one out. And we'll see you yeah, guys it's a fun time. game. Anyway, yeah, also uh, make sure to check out the rest of Zen's content. He does silly simulators and uh, some are darker purpose, which is a very Isaac-like game. So if you like Isaac, you'll probably like that. And, uh, you know, go check out all that stuff and subscribe while you're over there. Yep. We'll see you guys Thanks. next week. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.